Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to yoga. Sorry, I'm just changing my view of my screen. There we go, I've got you. Okay, so whatever you've done this week, whatever you've been up to, we're just gonna have a nice little chilled 45 minutes, enjoy ourselves. We're gonna add a bit of heat to begin with. So if you have got tired legs or tired anything, feel free to kind of take a variation that you prefer. Um, and then we'll end with some lovely long deep holds and stretches. So yeah, let's just enjoy, grab some water, anything that you need. And we'll get straight into it. So we're going to start kneeling down. Oh, I popped the playlist online if anyone wants to press it. So just sitting on top of your shins. Obviously, if that is really uncomfortable for anyone, then please do pop a little cushion underneath or sit another way if you prefer. We're just going to start closing the eyes. Hands can fall into the lap. Give your shoulders a nice little roll. We're just settling in just for a few deep breaths, just taking time to notice where we are with our week, our day. A few deep breaths, let those shoulders really sink down on the back. And just kind of let the body feel heavy, relaxed, no tension anywhere. George is here, perfect. So just a few deep breaths. On your knees when you're ready. Awesome. So yeah, just sitting on top of your shins as long as that's comfy. Let your hands fall down by your side, shoulders roll, eyes closed. Just taking a moment to chill before you start to move, build up a bit of heat. Good. When you're ready, just let your neck start to rock side to side. Maybe take some semicircles, roll your chin forwards. Good, or rock stretching out the upper body. And slowly lifting your head back to the top. Good, fluttering your eyes open when you're ready. Now, before we do anything else today, we're actually gonna take a bit of a shin stretch. I'm just gonna stretch you those ankles as well. So if you do have tight ankles or anything, um, do take your time. So from where you are, just bringing your hands behind you, and we're going to want our toes to kind of point backwards. So often my toes kind of come together when I'm sitting kneeling. We want our toes straight back and our bottoms on top of our heels. Fingertips behind us. Just start to lift those knees. Now we might just come a little bit off the mat. We may go way up high and lean backwards. Just a few more seconds here. Feel that stretch across the front of the shins, into the ankles, tops of the feet. And lower back down. Just shake it out a bit, maybe readjust if it feels a bit uncomfortable. See if you can move your bottom to a different part of the foot. And we're going to go two more times. So leaning back, fingertips behind you, lifting up through those knees. Good, and send the legs back down to the front. Again, maybe just wiggle your way around. Last time, hands behind us. Maybe the whole of your palms on the ground this time. Lift up the knees, shins stretching, tops of the feet stretching. Opening up through those ankles as well. We often forget about our feet. It's so important. And release. Coming all the way forwards now, hands down in front of you. Bringing your knees underneath your hips. Just give those feet a little wiggle, a tap out on the mat. Maybe roll through your ankles. And then sending your knees slightly further back from the hips. It's almost got like a bit, a bit of a too long tabletop, if you know what I mean. We're going to come back almost to a child's pose, so bottom back to heels again. And then really round through the back as you come all the way forward, start to drop the hips slightly, moving through to a cobra. So open up the chest, hands on the mat, lift through the upper body. 
And then sending your hips back, start to round through the spine, all the way back through to that child's pose. So it's a bit like a cat cow, but with a child's pose and an up dog. Round through the spine, nice and curved, leaning the hips forwards, open up the front of the chest. Couple more of these, a little bit faster though, bring the hips back. And on your exhale, sending everything forwards, open up the chest. Good, two more actually, let's send the hips back. Nice big arch through the spine as you move. Bring everything forwards. Breathing out as you come forwards, open up the chest, broaden those collarbones. Last time going back. And forwards. Good. Slowly bringing yourself back to tabletop. Walk those knees in slightly underneath the hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. Get a bit of space through the upper body. Breathe in, lift this right arm up high. Exhale, bring this arm underneath the left. Reach it across. Maybe your shoulder, maybe your ear comes down to the mat. Two more, big sweep up as you breathe in. Open the front of the body. Exhale, send it down. Last one, breathing in. And breathe out. Steady lifting back to our tabletop and then we'll go to the other side. So left arm, breathe in, lift it up. Exhale, thread it underneath the right, bringing your shoulder, maybe your ear down to the mat. And if you don't get this low, that's not a problem at all. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the arm down. A bit more space through this upper body last time, breathe in. And out. Good, bring everything back to the top. Give those shoulders a roll, tucking our toes, sending your bottoms up towards the top of your room, hips going high, pedaling out your feet in this downward dog. So just rocking left and right, side to side. Bend one knee, straighten the other leg. Now, anyone with super tight calves, like I often have, you'll probably already feel this on each side as you rock. But we're gonna do one more stretch here to really emphasize that stretch through this lower leg. So coming to still, bring your right foot or right toes really, and just place them around the back of that left ankle. And then really drawing your left ankle down and use that extra pressure of the right toes behind the leg. So towards the Achilles really. It doesn't matter if our heel is way off the mat or totally on the ground. It's still gonna have that same effect. Keep pressing into your hands, lifting up through those hips. One more deep breath here, nice and deep into the calves, the back of the leg. Switching over to the other side, bring the right foot down, lift the left toes off, bring them to the back of the ankle towards your Achilles and just pausing there. Staying still for a moment. Good, nice stuff. Noticing maybe if you have one side tighter than the other. And we'll release both feet on the mat. Again, little wiggle out if you need. Roll the shoulders. Okay, now is where we're gonna to start to build the heat up. So straight into it today, bringing yourself forward. Your toes are gonna to come all the way up towards the hands. So little steps, or you can take one big jump, it's completely up to you. Nice big breath in, I should turn feet this way. Breathe in, lift halfway, roll the shoulders. Exhale, fold down. On your next inhale, rolling all the way up to standing, lift the arms, gaze high. Bring the hands together, folding back down towards your mat, fingertips towards the ground. Place those hands down, bend the knees, stepping back through a high plank but then take those legs a little bit wider and we're gonna walk our hands all the way back through to a low squat. So again, if we're on our tiptoes, that is a-okay. Just holding here, find that space in the legs. And now from here, moving into a loaded B. So start to walk the hands forward, but keep those knees bent, press into the mat, and then rolling your weight all the way back through that high plank, stepping or jumping your feet forwards to meet the hands. Inhale, lift halfway. 
Exhale, folding down, chest towards the legs. Next breath in, we're rolling all the way up. Kick those arms all the way to the top. Hands coming together, fold back down. Same as before, press into those hands, walking or jumping the feet back. Take those legs a bit wider, walking your hands back towards the feet, move into that squat. Maybe you've got some cracky knees like me. In to our loaded beast, send the hands forward to keep those knees bent, keep through the legs. Bring yourself all the way through to that high plank, walking or jumping your feet to the front. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Next breath in, start to roll up through the spine, lifting all the way to the top. Hands together, fold back down. Hands to your mat, stepping or jumping your feet back. Bend through those knees, walking the hands back towards that squat. Okay, three, three more, two more from here. We're doing five in total, we've already done three. Start to walk your hands forwards into that loaded beast. So really nice and powerful through these legs. Springing your way forwards through to a high plank, maybe jumping the feet this time if you haven't already. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you roll up to the top. Open up the chest, reach the arms high, gaze up. Hands together, fold back down on your breath out. Hands planting down to your mat. Stepping your, jumping your way back. Legs a little bit wider than usual. Walk your hands back down the mat all the way into our squat. Good, excuse me, my neck, because this is getting in the way today. Okay, last time, send the arms forwards into our loaded beast, nice and strong through the legs. Sliding all the way forwards to our high plank, walking, stepping or jumping the feet forwards at the front. Breathe in, left halfway, nice and long through the spine. Exhale, fold. Next breath in, start to roll up all the way to the top, bring those arms high. This time, bringing your hands just down to your chest, staying standing, bringing your feet together. So toes, ankles, knees, as close as you can get them and moving up into a chair. So bring the arms up, start to bend through the knees, send the bottoms back. And we're aiming here to see our toes in front of those knees. Good, nice and long through the spine. One more deep breath, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze through the legs. Release, fold forwards. Stepping or jumping your feet back into that high plank. This time taking your vinyasa. So lower down your knees, untuck your toes, bring your chest all the way down to the mat. Big roll of your shoulders, lifting through to a cobra. Maybe hands lifting off. So really using those back muscles, pressing underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, lifting up to a downward dog. Okay, two more of those. So big step or jump forwards. Feet to the front, inhale, lift halfway again. Exhale, fold. Next breath in, start to uncurl, bring yourself all the way up to the top, arms up, hands down towards your chest, feet coming close together, knees as close as you can, lift the arms high, bend the knees, bottoms down. A little bit lower this time. This time, seeing if you can come up onto your tiptoes. So we are tilting the weight slightly differently, but we're using those legs even more. Build up through the heat, build up through the heat, feel the heat, feel. Take a deep breath. Plant those heels back down, fold forwards. Hands to the mat, walking, stepping or jumping your feet back. Again with a vinyasa, if you wish, taking a chaturanga here or staying with those knees first. For that chaturanga, just make sure we're really with control, lowering down. Halfway to elbow height through an up dog or a cobra and back to our down dog. Good, one more round of those. Pedal out through your feet, have a little shimmy or wiggle. Okay, deep breath. Send those feet forwards up to meet the hands. Inhale, lift halfway, all that length down the spine, down the legs, full breath out. Next breath in, sleeping yourself. Up to the top, reach the arms, hands down to our chest. Wiggle those feet together, legs nice and strong. Roll the shoulders down, lift the arms up. 
back into our chair pose, bottoms lower, knees close, as close together as we can get them. Moving back onto our tiptoes, again, doesn't matter how high those heels are off the mat. There's just that sensation of moving the weight forwards. From here, see if you can take a few little pulses, just a couple, I'm not gonna count them. Take them slow. We just wanna be lifting up and down. We are gonna feel those legs build up through the heat. I promise it's gonna be worth it. Okay, and then fold down, let everything be heavy, shake the legs out. When you get down to the bottom, take the shoulders, maybe have a little hug of your legs, draw yourself in. Slowly letting go, hands down to the mat. Stepping your feet back into your down dog again. And again, move through it if you wish, if you want to pedal out through your feet, take your time. Keeping your left leg still now, reaching up and back with the right. Bring this right foot forwards, planting it outside the right hand. And then lowering down your left knee, untuck your toes. And let's just wiggle that right foot into the middle of the mat. Bring your hand around it. So moving up through a low lunge and still flowing with our breath as we have done already. So we take a deep breath in, lift the arms up. As we exhale, send those hands down to the mat, start to extend straight and through the right leg, lifting up your right toes. Nice deep stretch on the back of the leg. Okay, coming forwards again, two more breathing in as you lift up. Okay, I think we're back. <laughs> we're back. There we go. A little bit too open on this side. We just got one more thing on this side. I'm going to turn to the next. So your left hand down on the mat underneath your left shoulder. We're going to bend our left leg and just reach back with this right arm. Now we can, might stay here and just send those fingertips away, or we may choose to hold on to this left foot and see if we can draw it a bit close to us. It totally depends how those legs are feeling. If you've had a heavy week or miles, you're still stretching into those hips. And from here, we're gonna get a little bit snazzy. We're gonna to start to turn to the long edge of our mat. Now I apologize because my back is to you, but I will come back to face you in a moment. Fingertips down, nice wide leg fold. Inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, fold down. Good, walking your feet a little bit closer together, send your toes out towards the corners of your mat. On your next breath in, rolling up to standing. So feet are about two hip distances apart. Hands to our hips, let's lower down our bottoms into a goddess pose and then reach the arms up. And as I said, we're still building up that heat. Start to pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, nearly there, four, three, two, and one, release, fold forwards. Let your upper body hang heavy, maybe just start to rock left and right. Walking your hands over towards the left foot, so you should be facing the back or what would have been the back of your mat. Just let your toes point forward or point backwards, I guess. Fingertips down towards the ground. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold the chest down towards this leg. Slowly starting to bend into your left knee. We will come back to face the front of the mat in a moment, don't worry. Taking your feet back into a nice strong high plank and then through a vinyasa, so whether that's knees first or a chaturanga. Then we're lowering the chest to your mat. Big roll of your shoulders, lifting into an up dog or cobra and pressing all the way back through a child's pose maybe, lifting up into your downward dog. Good. Same thing on the other side to make our way back to the front of the mat. Your left leg is gonna go high, bring it all the way forwards, planting your foot towards the outside of this left hand, lower down the right knee, untuck your toes, heel toe the foot into the middle of the mat, bringing your left hand around, sweeping the arms up for our low lunge. On your breath out, send the hips back, extend through this left knee, lift up your toes, lean forward. Two more, inhale as you come all the way back up. Exhale as you send the hips back, lengthen through the left leg. Last round, breathe in, lift up. Maybe a little back bend if you did last time, so all that is is just lifting the chest slightly more, sending the hips further forwards. And last time into our half splits. Extend through this left knee, fold the chest down. Good, bring everything back to the front, back to this low lunge. We'll hold it a little bit longer this time in case you stayed there for a while last time. So really thinking about breathing slow. As you breathe out, finding a little bit more room, a bit more space in those hips. Bringing your right hand so it's directly underneath this right shoulder. Left hand going back as you bend this right leg. Maybe just leaving it there or maybe taking hold of the foot, drawing it in closer towards the bottom. As I said before, it totally depends on how your legs are doing. So work with your body, listen to your body. Starting to let go. Hands back down to the front. Now again, we're gonna to turn to face that long edge of the mat. So bringing yourself up, turning to face the long edge of the ground, mat, of the ground of the mat, toes pointing to the sides. Take a breath in, lift halfway, fold forwards on your breath out. Slowly lifting up to standing. As you breathe in, feel so those feet, so they're just two hip distances apart, toes pointing slightly to the edges. And we're coming back into a goddess pose, but no more pulses. <laughs> hands down to our hips, lower down. Doesn't have to be this like really, really low posture. It's wherever you need to go. And we're gonna bring your thumbs to the inside of your thighs. Just start to press first of all into this right leg, send the right shoulder forwards. Come back up to center, go for the left side. So we're corkscrewing those feet into the mat as we stretch open through the upper body. One more time on each side, right hand presses into the thigh. I know there were no pulses, but they're still <laughs> working into those legs last time. Left hand, press it into the thigh, lean forwards, turn to face the right side. And release, straighten through those legs. Let your upper body hang heavy. Let your legs just have a little bend, a sway, a rock. 
walking your hands over to your front of your mat should be your right foot I believe hands down onto the mat stepping back to a high plank and either here coming straight into your down dog or again through your vinyasa totally up to you knees first or chaturanga big roll of your shoulders lift the chest and then we press back lifting up into our down dog so we're all here together little pedal out of your feet good lifting your right leg starting to move into that yin part of our class so bringing your right knee towards your right wrist Popping your shin down on the mat, really extend back to this left leg. So we're going into a pigeon pose. If this is totally uncomfortable, I'll give you a variation just a tick. But if you are staying in this full pigeon or half pigeon, then just making sure that your hips are pointing forward. And it might be easier for you to shove a little pillow or cushion underneath this right side of you. So you want to keep those hips pointed and straight. Hands down in front of you and then lowering your chest down towards your mat. So we're going to hold here for three minutes which is definitely a long enough time. So close those eyes, breathe. If it gets tough, know that you can do it. If you need a variation, if that is way too intense for you today, coming onto your back, popping your right ankle in front of your left knee and hugging your left leg in towards you. It's the same thing in this figure of four stretch, just without the weight of our bodies lying on top. So it's a little bit less intense. Nice. So really breathing slow down to the tummy. And of course, if it starts to get any, if you start to get any sense of pain, then do ease off. But often in these more yin focused postures, we hold them for a little bit longer can be quite intense and then you can feel quite a big release afterwards, especially around the hips. So just take your time, lean into it. Maybe start to feel yourself soften, maybe start to wiggle your way a little bit lower. One more minute here. Last deep breath. Really slowly, gently making your way up. Hands coming down by your sides. Meeting back in our downward dog. So just slowly tucking those left toes. Step the right foot back. Maybe give it a little shake. You might get a few tingles. We'll go straight over to the other side. So your left leg reaching back. And then bring the knee forwards, shin planting down, extend back through this right leg. Feel free to wiggle the foot further forwards or further back. So that's going to depend on how your hips are sitting right now. If you took that variation on your back with a figure of four, do the same thing. Fingertips down by your side for this pigeon pose. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, fold forwards. Find that same space you were in last time. And again, three minutes here. So really slow, really gentle. And absolutely, you don't need to start in exactly the same place you were when you just left that other posture. Remember that over those three minutes, 
you can just start to ease into the stretch, soften down, breathe steady. Just let your body almost melt into the posture. I know it can sound silly sometimes, but when you feel it, you will know. Okay, you're about halfway. Notice if anywhere started to tense up. Try and release those places. About 30 seconds left, so our final few breaths. Really let yourself be heavy. And slowly as you can, start to peel yourself up. Hands down in front of you, right toes tucked. Lifting yourself back through to your down dog. And from here, just lower those knees down. Find a nice child's pose, bottom back to heels. Maybe your arms staying out stretched. Or if you prefer, curling up into a little ball. Just staying nice and close. Nice little rebound for us. Slowly start to kneel, rolling your chest up, shoulders back, moving down onto our tummies, glide those hands forwards, bring yourself all the way down onto our fronts. Wiggle your way there, whatever's comfy. Let your forehead just rest onto your hands. And starting to lift yourself up. Well, your upper body up, hands out or forearms even out in front of you. I'm going to come into a half frog position and then add in a little bit of a stretch through our upper body as well. So just bringing your left hand in front of you, kind of in the middle of your chest for now, that forearm down on the mat, and bring your right leg out to the side. So your knee just out to the side it doesn't have to be totally right angle with the hip or in line with the hip but just so you feel a nice stretch of the inside of the leg. From here, just start to walk your hands slightly further forwards and then threading your right arm underneath the left, taking your left arm over to the other side. So we've crisscrossed our arms in front of us. Press forwards with those left toes and start to lean over your arms. So your weight of your chest is over the arms. I'm just here for a couple minutes again. And you may or may not feel it in the leg too much right now, but you'll definitely feel it in your arms after a while. So just give it a few breaths. Just like in that pigeon, try and see if you can soften down. 
breathe deep. Maybe as you breathe, and as time goes on in this stretch, you can kind of wiggle the arms a little bit further out to each side. Do whatever works. Just one more minute here. Maybe notice if those glutes are squeezed, you're often tense without knowing it. One last deep breath. Starting to unravel your arms at the front, take your time. Sometimes this one can feel really weird to come out of. Lifting your chest back up slightly, let that right leg come back down and then just lower your head, maybe onto one ear, onto your forehead. Take a moment just for your arms to be relaxed. Slowly lifting your way back up. Hands on the ground, going to the opposite side. So your left knee this time, coming out towards the side of that hip, sending your arms out in front of you. Left arm going underneath, right arm going over the top. And just like before, maybe press into those toes at the back. Start to lean over the arms. Now you might find that one side you can only feel it in one shoulder or one arm and this side you can feel it in both. Just a little bit of an imbalance. Not a problem at all, we all have them. But acknowledging them is always a good thing. About 30 more seconds here. Maybe you can lean further over the arms. Maybe you want to stay exactly as you are. Just as slow as before, beginning to make your way out of this one. Sending that right arm across, bring the left arm in, let the leg extend behind you. If you're anything like me, you've got a few dingly arms. Roll those shoulders, let your head come down, just rest. Be heavy, no tension anywhere.
pressing your hands underneath the shoulders now and lifting yourself back all the way into a child's pose just like a moment ago bottom to heels maybe arms stretched forwards or maybe wrapping around you curling up tightly into a little ball slowly lifting yourself up to seated bringing your hands one side of the legs letting the legs go out the other way moving down onto our backs almost done now you should feel nice and ready for this rest bringing your backs onto the ground hugging our knees in and we've got one final little stretch for us not too long a hold so we're going to cross our legs over so right leg over left for now just like you're sitting down at a chair and you cross your legs and then see if we can take hold of maybe our shins maybe our ankles or maybe our feet we're going to draw both feet towards us. It feels a little bit funny, like we're in a bit of a knot. But it's a nice release for those glutes. One more breath here. Switching up the other way. So we let go of your shins, your ankles, your feet. Uncross that right leg, cross over the left, knees together. Same thing this side. See if you can take hold of either leg, ankle, or toes, drawing in towards you. And again, just like in those other postures a moment ago, you may feel that one side you can bring the legs closer than the other. And you've got that slight difference in openness. It's all good, all normal. Slowly releasing your hands from your feet, your legs. Unravel those knees, bring your feet down to the mat. Just let your legs rock left and right. Window wipe the knees side to side. And we're finishing up here. So if you do have anything else that you would absolutely love to stretch today, please, please do that. This is your time. Otherwise, when you're ready, bringing yourselves down into a nice comfy position for our final few moments. Maybe that means legs out long in front of you. Maybe that means knees bent. Maybe even the soles of your feet together, knees out to either side in a bit of a diamond shape with the legs. Arms as well, whatever's comfy. Closing your eyes. Just focusing on your breathing. Maybe a sound you can hear, maybe even a smell. Let yourself be still for our final few moments. No tension in the body, just being heavy, sinking down into your mat. Starting to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe taking some rolls, wrists, ankles, let your head rock side to side. Let's find a full body stretch before we finish up. Hands going back, toes pointing forwards. Nice lift and lightness in the chest, big breath in. Exhale, send those knees up towards your chest, hug them in. Rocking left and right, maybe drawing your forehead up to meet the knees, curling up really tightly. 
keeping your eyes still closed, just a soft gaze, gently making your way up to a seated position, whatever that looks like, whatever that means for you to be comfortable seated, whether that's cross legs, legs out in front, legs to the side. Let your hands just fall into your lap. You have a big roll of your shoulders. Grow tall through the round crown of your head. Yeah, deep breath. Notice how you're doing, how you're feeling. Put a big, beautiful smile onto your faces. Thank you very, very much. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you're feeling chilled, maybe a little bit more open. Um, a very well done to anyone that's done any races this week. You're smashing it. And I'll see you very soon.